I believe that step one in attracting new customers through marketing is by earning their trust. But how do you earn their trust? Well, you have to establish yourself as the expert. But how do you do that? Well, I want to talk to you today about what it means to establish yourself as the expert through your personal brand and a couple ways that you can do that. Now, I understand that in our personal lives, trust takes on a whole different meaning. But in the business world, people learn to trust you when you've established yourself as an expert, someone who knows what they're talking about. So regardless of the industry or the field you work in, surely you are passionate and knowledgeable about what you do. And I wanna offer some ways that you can share that expertise with others. Now, this does not have to be in short form video like I'm filming today. You can write about your expertise. You can record audio in the form of a podcast, or you can try to flip around the camera and film yourself making short style videos like this. Here's three ideas for offering your expertise. Number one, share tips. Now, these tips are things that you are offering people to make their lives easier. Maybe it's the same tips you offer your clients, but you're giving away that information for free. Let me give you an example. I recently had someone in the childcare industry say to me, I babysit children all day. What expertise do I have to offer? What tips can I share? I said, well, you keep children safe and alive all day. Surely there are some tips and some hacks that you use day in and day out to do that, that parents like myself would love to hear about. Now, if she shares those kinds of tips every day, I'm going to find them helpful and I'm going to learn to trust her and eventually maybe bring my children to her to watch. Secondly, talk about the tools you use day in and day out to make your job easier. Let me give you an example. If you are an automotive detailer, and you clean cars for a living. Share the tools you use to do that. Maybe you share the wax that you recommend. And I go out and I buy that wax because it's a tool that you use to make your cars look beautiful. And I use the wax and I get good results, but my car still doesn't look as clean as the cars that you work on. So naturally, I tried the tool you recommended, but now I'm ready to come to you and ask you to use that tool among many others to make my car look spectacular. And lastly, weigh in on trending topics. Let me give you an example that hits home for me. In the marketing and social media world, trends change every day. A quick Google search will overwhelm and inundate you with information, best practices, and things that you should be implementing every day. But what if my clients turn to me to really filter what's important and what they should be doing in their marketing? So that's why it's important for me to establish myself as an expert and weigh in on those trending topics because I want people to come to me to understand what truly they should be paying attention to or use me as a way to filter some of that information because they have learned to trust me. You can do this too in your industry, no matter what it is, you can weigh in on those trending topics and tell your customers and clients what they should be paying attention to, what's important information and how it affects them. Listen, building trust and establishing yourself as an expert is a huge part of your personal brand and trying any of these tactics today will help you do that.